Hello friends, welcome back to Intellectube. I have got a lot of comments from your side to make videos on satellite communication. So I decided to make this video for you on satellite communication. And if you find the quality of the content is up to the mark, then please hit the like button as it is the only thing that keeps me motivated for making videos like this. So let's start. At first we will see what is a satellite. A satellite is any physical object which revolves around the earth in a known orbit at a known height. The path followed by this object is called its orbit. And a communication satellite is an orbiting artificial satellite that receives a communication signal from a transmitting ground station. Communication satellite system is divided in two parts. The first one is a space segment and the second one is ground segment. Satellite itself comes under a space segment and it consists of three units that is fuel system, telemetry control system and transponder. Transponder consists of a receiving antenna and a frequency converter that is used to send back the signal in downlink. The ground segment consists of earth station where a baseband signal is first encoded and then passed through a modulator and then up converter then amplified by a high powered amplifier and this amplified signal is then sent to the antenna which transmits it towards the space station. Now when a space station sends back the signal then the receiving station works in reverse direction. At first it is passed through the low power amplifier then down converted and then it gets demodulated and finally decoded to the baseband signal. Now let's come to the various classification of satellites. Based on the principle of operation, satellites are divided in two types. That is passive satellites and active satellites. The passive satellites are the one that cannot generate power. It has a metal cover over it which reflects the signal coming from one part of the earth to the other part. The coverage distance is very less for passive satellites. The active satellites are the one which has transmitting equipment connected on it such as transponder that receives signal from earth, amplifies it then retransmits the signal back to earth. Now based on orbits, satellites are divided in three categories. If the satellite revolves in the equatorial plane of earth then its path is called equatorial orbit. If its path is inclined at an angle to the equatorial plane, then it is called inclined orbit. And if the orbit of the satellite makes 90 degree with the equatorial plane, then it is called polar orbit. Now the most important classification of satellite is based on altitude of the satellites. Altitude is measured from the surface of the earth. Based on altitude, satellites are divided in three types that is low earth orbit satellite, medium earth orbit satellite and geosynchronous earth orbit satellite. The nearest orbit to the earth is called lower earth orbit or in short LEO. LEO satellites are placed 500 km to 1000 km above the surface. Due to the lower orbit LEO satellites exhibit a much shorter time period of about 95 to 120 minutes. Since it can cover a very small area of earth, so a large number of satellites, around 66 satellites are required to cover the entire earth. Now medium earth orbits are the orbits in which satellites are placed 10,000 km to 20,000 km above the surface of earth. Since when LN radiation belt lies between 2000 to 8000 km that can damage the satellite, so medium earth orbit or MEO starts from 10,000 km. And the satellite orbit period is about 6 hours. It can cover a larger area than the LEO satellites. To cover the globe, 10 to 12 satellites are required. Now the next one is geosynchronous earth orbit. In short, it is called geo. 
height of this satellite is around 36,000 km from Earth's surface and they have a time period of 23 hours, 59 minutes and 4 seconds. One geosatellite can cover around 40% area of Earth's surface, so minimum of 3 geosatellites placed at 120 degree are required to cover the entire Earth. There is a special orbit called geostationary orbit which is a geosynchronous orbit but with some different properties. That is the satellite remains stationary with respect to a point on Earth. There are three conditions for a satellite to be placed in geostationary orbit. The first one is the satellite should be placed about 36,000 km above the Earth's surface and move in circular orbit. The second condition is that the satellite must travel eastwards with rotational speed equal to Earth's rotational speed. And the third condition is that the inclination of the satellite with respect to Earth must be 0 degree. Now let's see what are the differences between geostationary orbit and geosynchronous orbit. The first difference is geostationary orbit is circular and geosynchronous orbit is not circular. The geostationary orbit lies in equatorial plane while geosynchronous orbit is inclined with respect to equatorial plane. There is only one geostationary orbit possible but there can be many of geosynchronous orbits. Remember one point here that all geostationary are geosynchronous but all geosynchronous are not geostationary. Now let's see some different parameters of classification of satellites. Based on applications, satellites may be divided as communication satellite like Intelsat, remote sensing satellite like IRS and navigation satellite for example GPS of US and GLONASS of Russia. Based on coverage distance, satellites can be divided as national coverage satellite like INSAT, regional coverage satellite like Arab satellite for Gulf countries and international coverage satellite like Intelsat that is international telecommunication satellite. Based on orbit of rotation, satellites are circular orbit satellite and elliptical orbit satellite. So that's all for this video. I will cover the remaining part in the next video. If you like the video then please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And as always thanks for watching.